On February 22nd, the National Center on Sexual Exploitation released the 2017 Dirty Dozen list, 12 national organizations being noticed for their open policies towards the normalization of pornography, prostitution, sex trafficking, and other forms of sexual exploitation. What companies are on that year, this year's Dirty Dozen list? You're about to find out. Lauren Ashburn, anchor of EWTN News Nightly, sat down with Don Hawkins, executive director of the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. The National Center on Sexual Exploitation announces its Dirty Dozen list. It's a list of companies they say profit from or perpetrate sexual exploitation, including the American Library Association, Amazon, and HBO. Don Hawkins, executive director of the National Center on Sexual Exploitation, joins us now. Don, welcome to the program. Hi there. You Hi. just announced this list at uh, 1 o'clock today. Mm -hmm. What's the criteria? How did these different organizations get on this list? So we've identified that mainstream companies that many of us trust and use are very much involved in the facilitation and profiting from sexual exploitation. So we've gone industry by industry and tried to expose their involvement. The, the largest of it. All right, so we've showed a list. Maybe we could put that list back up. Um, we've showed the list of, of all of the different ones, and we've mentioned some of them. Who is new to the list this year? Here, the, here we go. So some of them are Amazon, Amnesty International, um, Backpage, and Cosmopolitan Magazine, Snapchat, mm -hmm. Roku. So Roku is a new target this year. We found that Roku is a media streaming device, kind of like Apple TV or Amazon's Fire TV, except Roku is the only device that allows pornographic channels to also be streamed to the television. They have hundreds of these type of channels. Others, Comcast, EBSCO, Roku, Twitter, as we're putting it up on there. The, who is new to the list mm -hmm. this year? So in addition to um, Roku, EBSCO International Services is the one that I think is really the biggest scandal that we've ever uncovered. Why? Um, because this is a company that provides online database services to schools K through 12. Many schools are subscribing to these products and we found that these products are categorically filled with pornography, with sexually explicit content and with um, advice to engage in in risky sexual behaviors. And this is to like elementary and middle school kids. And that could be blocked, right? I, I, I'm really dying to get to this uh, point where you have actually changed corporations. <laughs> well, uh, Verizon moved from the dirty dozen list to the watch list. Why did that happen? What, what happened? Yes, well, thanks to the pressure of the public, the media, so many people contacting Verizon. They met with us last year, the CEO, and then they told us that this year they were adopting a new policy for new customers to um, basically block out any pornography channels through their Fios TV. So if you call and you're getting now Verizon, you say, I want to sign up for Verizon Fios, you don't get porn. You don't get pornography. You Unless have to you verbally say, act. I want it. Mm -hmm. So they're still profiting from pornography and exploitation, but they have taken a step forward and they're willing to kind of work with us and the dialogue is open, which is why they're on, on the, the watch, watch list. list. Tell me about some other uh, victories that you've had. Well, the one I mentioned EBSCO earlier, they called us last night saying, please don't put us on the dirty desk list. We don't want to be with the ilks of Backpage.com. We want to fix things. We, and they promise that they are already undertaking um, steps to improve their, their services. We got Google, for example, to also change. And what did you, how did you get Google, the big giant, I to change? Like if we can change a big internet giant, we can <laughs> like change You can do anything, anything right? Yeah. So Google invited us um, to also meet with them after a lot of public pressure. And they got rid of all apps in Google Play for the phones and tablets that were explicit. And they also stopped all pornographic ads um, and explicit ads that, you know, often pop up. I mean, we've heard from so many kids that they're just looking innocently and these ads are popping up. Right. I, I have children, and yes, I do worry about that. I've seen it, and I'm trying to hit the delete button or the back pa backspace yeah. button. So mm -hmm. what, what amazing work you're doing. Thank you so much. You. Dawn Hawkins, Executive Director of the National Center on Sexual Exploitation. You can learn more about the Dirty Dozen List by visiting dirtydozenlist.com. At that site, you can also learn about companies that appeared on past year's Dirty Dozen Lists, took the warning seriously, and have since improved their ethical policies.